welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot wave principal i'm your host shaheen we are going to continue our analysis of gold and silver and first we'll see the larger uh, trend that analysis that we have been trying to forecast and then uh, we'll also look at the shorter time frame what's happening on a smaller time frame first silver and then we'll move on to gold so let me get into the weekly time frame so we can see the larger pattern I believe that the larger pattern is a, a zigzag pattern that we have started few years ago back in uh, 2011 and then we have completed wave A structure right over here. Wave B and wave C is going to be an ending diagonal, expected to be an ending diagonal. Uh, out of which in, within the ending diagonal we are going to see the uh, that wave 1 is complete, wave 2 is complete the blue one and then wave 3 and 4 are complete and we are in the process of completing wave 5. Now note that wave five, uh, sorry, wave C, the ending diagonal, expected to be a diverging ending diagonal, is not a converging ending diagonal. Here we can see that the lines are actually diverging, the lines of support and the resistance are diverging. So I'm extremely bearish on silver and gold as well, in uh, especially in few months to come. Now let me delete this line, and then we can have a look on a smaller time frame and see what's happening on a daily time frame. So on a daily time frame, uh, we can see that we have started from over here, we have come down and then we have completed a correction, which is a double three correction. So we are right now considering it as an A structure, a B structure and a C structure and wave C is expected to create quite a drama. Um, we are expecting it to quite be bearish, something like of a similar position. We can, however, look at this wave as wave W and in that case, this is X and then this should be a a Y wave that will be a 535 wave. However, if we look at the price target, we are quite away from the price target. I'm expecting um, silver to be falling somewhere around $10 an ounce, uh, which seems unlikely at the moment. But if you look at the historic prices, uh, silver has uh, even gone lower as compared to the previous prices. A lot of people talk about uh, using the uh, inflation and say okay in that case yeah but, but inflation is important we are going to look at it but even if you consider inflation still ten dollar seems achievable it's not something that um, is not achievable or impossible for silver to do uh, we have example of crude oil in front of us uh, a year and a half ago or a couple of years ago when it crashed it went way through the lower prices and went even to into negative territory silver and gold are not going to go into the negative territory but they are certainly in a bearish trend we have not seen a bullish trend to appear yet on a smaller time frame we are forecasting uh, that we have already seen the prices to start down uh, i was able to successfully draw and forecast the drop right over here and then we did expected prices to go up and come down and we are looking for a pattern called a flat pattern so let me go on see hourly time frame. So we were expecting for the prices to complete this pattern right over here. Wave A structure, wave B and wave C. Wave B we were thought that the bottom has ended right over here. However, the bottom has ended over here right now. It is still in comparison to the previous bottom right over here. We can clearly see the price is actually penetrated through the support area of the previous structure. This is the support area of the previous structure. We can see the prices have penetrated through. So we can successfully now say that, okay, the prices are going to go up right over here. This is expected to complete a flat correction, which is an ABC correction, uh, 335 structure. We can, however, turn it to be messy. And therefore, in a general, I'm expecting on a four hourly time frame or an hourly time frame in next, I would say, week during week, uh, we would see the prices to go up in silver and create a double top. This gives us a clear indication. Uh, if you look at the previous price structure, we have an impulsive wave followed by a three wave structure is an ideal, ideal uh, trading setup. And then we'll be aiming for the prices to come down. Now, when I draw the line that is going to go down, that does not mean that it's going to go down in straight line. It just is an oversimplification of the trend. Trends do not move in this way. All it means that we are going to see waves uh, of uh, this happening. So we should spare when the prices are created double top. We should spare 
for max two to three days i would say even four or five days to, there is a possibility we might see a little bit of swift price action so in in order to not get surprised we need to keep an eye open for next uh, when the top is made uh, for next two to four days i would say uh, so that we are not trading uh, very defensively uh, and we may allow we would allow for the prices to crash if they do try to do so because we have completed wave one a smaller wave one and this is wave two and in some of the cases wave threes are very strong that they do not even allow uh, for a full correction in that case we can see something like this and then prices can go up and then uh, make smaller waves so be aware of that uh, once the once that we create the top and we will turn bearish so i'm expecting for the prices to go up come down and then we'll see then uh, regular uh, waves being formed so we are quite a bit uh, at 24.50 we'll be quite a bit from uh, from the bottom being formed uh, i'm happy that finally the pattern that you we were expecting uh, is actually showing up let's have a look on um, on gold and see how the prices are expecting uh, doing on gold uh, on gold, I did two forecasts. Uh, one was that we were expecting for the prices to go a bit higher, further than high. All right, and one was that we were did were expecting for the prices to go high over. I would comment on it but before we can do so. We need to go and see uh, what we are doing on a weekly time frame. So we were expecting for the prices to go and complete this structure, which is three three five structure we are right sitting at the top of it if you look at some of the um, gold uh, miners you'll see that they are down they're not creating near higher highs uh, as compared to the commodity itself so that is a lot of com a lot of miners are actually somewhere in the middle of the trend that is an indication that there is something wrong either the if i am wrong and in that case the miners are going to jump up and that create a massive bullish opportunity um, and i don't think so that's going to happen we have yet not completed the structure and i'm completely uh, clearly bearish on gold and silver so i'm expecting that uh, all the miners that are sitting around the top are going to come crashing down really hard and that includes the commodity metal itself the commodity itself so i'm expecting this is the larger pattern for it to complete uh, however when the bottom is there then that will be amazing opportunity to go long on gold and silver. Uh, let's have a look what's happening on a smaller time frame. Uh, let's first have a look on a daily time frame. So we can see that the, clearly uh, that the three tops I keep mentioning from this one, this one and that one, prices went through it and came back quite a bit. So this area got refusal once uh, we came back and then we have retested this level, which is a previous uh, resistance for the price area. So you're expecting either the price is going to go through it and create a double top or it can go up and create a double top with this one the way silver is moving is giving us a hint and i think the the later option is right let me go on hourly time frame so what i'm thinking right now is that price is expected to go up and create a double top somewhere over here we have already gone up and corrected um and they've clearly passed this area that indicates that the bottom has been already formed so we are considering this as a zigzag another correction within the after the zigzag we can call it a double zigzag and we are expecting another zigzag to happen so this would be uh, quite interesting to see and after that the top we are expecting for the prices to come down wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye